Yo, do you want to learn this edited by effect in Filmora 10? Edited by Luca. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. If you want to mind subscribing to my channel or at least liking the video, it helps me out so much. I really appreciate it if you do it. But that out of the way, let's start the video. So um, go to titles, just get like a simple title and place down four of these on top of each other or however many letters that, you're, that are in your name. My name is Luca, L-U-K-A, so I have four. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and um, change every single letter to what I want it to be. And then you want to um, try to make it as like evenly aligned as possible. So it doesn't really matter how like um, like where you put it on your thing because you can always just change that when you're placing it into your montage. So I'd say this is about good. So then you want to go to every single one of these texts and use Mark Pro Heavy as your font. And then an optional thing, if you want to do it, you can um, go ahead and add an outline shadow, kind of. So you want to click on advanced. Let me bring this over to my other monitor. Go down to text shadow. And you need, then you want to select either this one or this one, whichever you want. I'm going to go ahead and use that one. And make the occupancy 100 and make the distance 5. I'm going to use red just because it stands out more. Red, okay, yeah, wrong red. And if you want to make it out further, then you can. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to go ahead and do this to each one of them. So once that's done, you want to go to transitions and go ahead and add a dissolve at the start of each of them. I recommend to shorten it to about half of the defaults. That way, in my opinion, it looks nicer. So once you're done with that, you want to go to animation on your video and find flip down. Yeah, so once you're at flip down, use um, flip down number one. And then go to your next, um, go to the letter, the, the next letter, use flip down number two. Go to the third letter, use flip down number one. And do the same thing for every single number. In my opinion, that looks the best. But if you want to do the same thing for each one of them, that's totally up to you. So once you're done with that, this is what it should look like so far. Now, once you're done with that, go to the first link in the description, which should take you to Google Cloud text to speech um, copy these settings, um, go to voice name, and go down to wavelength F. Um, for the pitch, make it make sure it's at 3.20. Um, keep the speed like this, or you can change it to a little bit slower or faster. I would just recommend it speed on that. And make edited by whatever name you want to use. And then here's what it should edited sound like. By Luca. Now when you drag it in, it of course be the video, so uh, right click on it, click detach audio, delete the video, click delete, and trim it up to where you need it to. Now I recommend to increase the audio as it may be a little bit quiet. So once you've done that, I recommend placing it in about the middle to where it would sound like this. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped y'all. Let me know in the comments. If you need help any with anything, I'd be glad to help you. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.